If you think you're ever alone with your computer, think again. There are eyes watching your every move. Thankfully, there are ways to always make sure no one knows what you're doing online. So today, you're going to find out how to browse anonymously on the web, and I don't mean just using your browsers in cognito mode. Spoiler alert, one of the steps is getting on a good VPN. So you may want to grab a hot deal for some of the best ones through the link in the description. And to stay up to date with VPNs and online security, subscribe to this channel and hit that bell button for notifications. What we do online isn't ever private. We are constantly observed by various companies through tracking cookies, web beacons, browser, fingerprinting scripts, and other shadowy marketing technologies. We'd better hope Google or Facebook doesn't testify on Judgment Day because that bribe to St. Peter will become super expensive. As if that's not enough, your online destinations are also logged by your ISP and depending on where you're from, government agencies that might send you fines or even a ticket to jail. So for right now, over half the people who use the internet are more worried about their privacy than they were years ago. And rightfully so. In the US alone, there were over a thousand data breaches last year, which means not only is your data being hoarded, it also gets in the hands of cyber criminals with startling regularity. To make this point very real, visit haveibinpawn.com and try searching for your email address. If you don't see any records, great, but next day you may not be so lucky. Another consequence of not browsing anonymously is susceptibility to hacks. For example, people can be hacked when they're using public Wi-Fi without a VPN, which can lead to getting scammed, blackmailed, or doxxed. In other words, there are plenty of reasons to worry whether you're browsing privately or not. So in this video, I'm going to share three ways that you can browse with genuine anonymity. VPNs are hugely popular, and here's why. They route your internet connection through a VPN server as an intermediary rather than directly through your ISP. This means that the site you're visiting doesn't know your real IP address, whereas your ISP doesn't know the IP address of the site you're visiting. As the data packages travel back and forth from your VPN server and your device, it's hidden using strong encryption cliffers, a sort of virtual tunnel that's impossible to crack from the outside network. With a VPN, your privacy is protected and you stay secure. Not only that, it also lets you bypass government censorship programs, unblock geo-restricted content, and avoid bandwidth throttling. A VPN doesn't protect you from viruses or malware, although some VPNs may have additional security built in for covering these issues. A VPN will slow your internet speeds down a little bit though. Additionally, it's true that a VPN service can see what sites you're visiting, which is why all the best VPNs stick to a strict no-logs policy. Anyway, here are our three favorite VPNs for anonymity at a glance. NordVPN is incredibly popular around the world. It received five stars in so many online reviews. Surfshark VPN is another well-priced VPN that's stuffed with exceptional features. And Viper VPN is a solid, reliable VPN that takes privacy and security seriously. If you've already made up your mind, hit this I button right now for a discount on the best VPNs for browsing anonymously. Now, a VPN will stop various entities from observing you using your IP address, yet it won't do much about various companies tracking your device via cookies, fingerprinting, and other such tech. Basically, visiting most websites lands a whole bunch of trackers on your browser or trigger scripts that tell third parties you've visited a website. Thankfully, you can fight these trackers off with the right tools. You can get a privacy-friendly browser that has built-in protections against tracking such as Brave Browser, or you could use something like Mozilla Firefox with the right browser add-ons. Auxiliary tools like Ghostery and uBlock Origin are great for blocking ads and scripts to take you browser-free of trackers, for the most part at least. Tor Browser doesn't really add anything to the combination of VPN plus browsing privacy extensions. Instead, it combines both solutions into one free tool. Tor routes your web traffic through three layers of randomly selected proxy servers, essentially doing what a VPN does. It also offers inbuilt browsing privacy tools. For example, it instantly deletes cookies when you close the browser. It's a popular way to access censored sites and it does make you genuinely anonymous. Unfortunately, it's much slower than a VPN and it's no good for things like torrenting and streaming. It's also not as secure as a VPN and has vulnerabilities a very well-funded hacker could exploit. To be fair, that's something 99% of users shouldn't worry about. 
and so the beloved incognito mode. We've all used it at some point to hide our online activity, but it's kind of like the five second rule of internet germs. It simply makes sure that your browsing history, passwords, or cookies aren't saved in any format on your device. That's all. Your IP address is still visible and your data isn't encrypted. So the problem is only partially solved. So that's it guys, use these tools and your online exploits will be much more anonymous than they are right now. If you wanna get a VPN with up to 80% off the price, check the link in the description below right now. Subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of VPNs and security and thanks for watching.